my family and everyone else in between. Welcome to a channel that teaches you how to explore, inspire, and engage as an active videographer. My name is Cody Scott, and if you're new here, feel free to consider hitting that subscribe button. Have you ever watched all these epic YouTube videos where the person starts with a flat profile and then color grades it in this crazy cool looking swiping motion? Well, we're gonna learn how to do that today in Final Cut Pro. And guess what? It's easy. It's so easy. I don't really know what to say. It's super easy. It's, that's, it's super easy. But before we jump over to the laptop and learn how to do this in Final Cut Pro in less than like two seconds, there's one thing I want to talk about. What is this actually used for? Well, I'm glad you asked. What? This is actually something that professional color graders, color graders. Colorist? That professional colorists use to compare two shots. If you're doing something called a shot to shot match, a colorist would actually use this swiping motion to compare the colors between two different scenes. However, it looks like that it took a mainstream path into making a more cinematic video just by incorporating this. So it's now a trending thing to have this swiping motion that shows you the before and the after. When shooting in a log profile, you get this really flat image. And after you color grade it, you get this bright, saturated, beautiful image. And by using this swiping motion, it gets to show you the before and the after in one fluid motion in the same video. However, talk is cheap and words are very boring. So let's jump into Final Cut Pro, grab your laptops, and let's learn how to do this. All right, now that we are in Final Cut Pro, let's learn how to do that cool color swipe thing that you see in a lot of YouTubers' videos. It's pretty easy. And for the sake of instructionals, I'm just going to use the same clips that I used in the very beginning of this video except I'm only going to use their raw form and create this from scratch. So I took three of them and I put them over here. We'll start with the first one. Step one is to copy your clip and put it on top of the other clip. So you can do this in multiple ways, but you can hold down the command C button and copy and then paste it up here. Or you can hold down the option button, which I prefer, and then just drag the clip ever so slightly up. Step two, what I like to do is move it to where you want the transition to start. So let's say I want the transition to start uh, right there, right? Halfway through the clip. Now you have a flat clip and that same exact clip at the top there. Step three is to color grade your clip. All right, so now that you've color graded your clip, Let's create that transition. So click on this double triangle over here and search wipe. Take that and drag it on the top clip. You don't need this second part, so delete that. And now you have the wipe right there. Here's a pretty fun fact that you can, you know, speed up your workflow with. If you right click on wipe, you can click make default. And anytime you want to create this, it just stays right there. You don't even have to search for it. Shoo! All right, so now that we have the wipe transition right there, all you have to do is look for edge treatment, click on the arrow to the left of it, and drag the border all the way down. The line starts to become more apparent the more you decrease the amount of border, and that's what you're looking for. So now you have the bottom clip and the top clip displaying, and it's transitioning in between. Perfect, and that's it. If you wanna finalize it, you just highlight both of them and turn it into a compound clip by using the hotkeys, option G. And there you go. Now you should have one full clip with a transition in the middle. Pretty simple. Let's do that one more time. Step one is to copy the clip and put it above. Step two is to drag over to where you want the transition. Step three, color grade the top clip. Step four, create the transition. And then quickly adjust the border all the way down. And you're all set. And that's it, it's pretty simple. 
All right, ladies and gents, that's all for me. If you enjoyed this video and you learned something from it, feel free to hit that dislike button, unsubscribe, and don't you dare hit that notification bell. Don't you hit that button. I'll see you guys in the next video.